fish and chips. That's what it says. I didn't get them from fish, fish and chips. I got them from fish and chicken. Some of the best chips I've ever had. They didn't like us filming. They were getting a little bit anxious. Mrs. Egg had a few chips. My daughter had a few chips. And yet there are still chips left over. We always have too many chips. Everyone's always got too many chips. Bubble and squeak you would normally have after a roast. The next morning, you'd have the leftover roast potatoes, if there are any. You'd also have cabbage, maybe you'd have onion. We're gonna do it with chips. It's not gonna be delicious, it's gonna be superb. Mm, mm, mm. Onions. Sweetheart cabbage. We don't want too much of this, just a bit. And now a big handful of chips. Fry the onions, cabbage and the chips. Just fry and fry and you mash them with a potato masher. Add a bit of water if it's getting too dry. So they're this mushy, browny, greeny. And then you add some pepper and you add some crunchy salt. So I've got a nice big cutting ring here which we're going to press the bubble and squeak into. Let's fry an egg. It's quite a small egg and that was quite a big ring. Should have used the slightly smaller ring. Anyway, one last thing that it needs, white ketchup. Yeah, that's right, that was salad cream. It tastes like chips if you know it's chips. If you didn't know it was chips, you'd just think it was some really nice potato-y, mushy, but it's got that very slight chip shop taste to it that gives it the interesting sort of flavor profile, whatever. Mm. Here's the thing, folks, look. There's still loads left. 